In this lecture, we are going to look at how to create projects and run them in IntelliJ. If you're new to IntelliJ, you can download a free 30-day trial of the Ultimate Edition, which is packed with tons of advanced features. If you don't need Ultimate, feel free to use the Community Edition, which is completely free, and it's all you'll really need for this course. So I'm here on the IntelliJ IDEA website, and I will include this link in the additional resources. And if you go to download, you'll see there are two editions here, community, and it shows you what's available in community, and then ultimate on the right. Again, if you're new, there's no reason not to take advantage of ultimate and use it for 30 days and give it a run. So once you have it downloaded and installed, let's go ahead and open it and create a sample project. So I've already got it installed, but uh, I'm going to run Community Edition here for the very first time so you can see exactly what I'm seeing here. So we're going to create a new project. And the first thing that we'll need to do on the left, we're going to choose Groovy. And we need to set up our SDKs. So the first one is a project SDK. And if you hit the drop down, there's nothing in there because we haven't set anything up yet. So we're going to hit new and we want to set up a JDK. So we already installed the Java JDK. Now we just need to point to it. So in this case, I'm pointing to the latest one at the time of this recording, uh, which I am installing, uh, which I already have installed. So I'm going to click OK and you'll see it put up there 1.8. So we have Java 1.8 installed. Now we need our Groovy library. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click Create. And I need to find mine. And I actually installed this through SDK Man. So mine's in a hidden directory here called SDK Man. And so if I jump into there and go to Groovy 2.4.5, that should be it. And there we go. So if you're on Windows, this is a similar process. Uh, it, it just depends on how you installed it, whether you extracted it manually or used the binary install. But again, the JDK should be probably in somewhere like C program files uh, and then the Groovy version just depending on how you installed it. So once you have pointed to those two, uh, those two are set up, we're going to click Next. And we're going to type Hello World as our project name. But we actually want to point to a specific directory. So um, if you want to store all of your files somewhere, um, that's probably a good uh, practice. Um, I'm actually just going to store this little hello world in my idea projects. But you'll probably want to pick a location on your hard drive where you want to store all of the projects and source code for this course. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And it's going to open up IntelliJ. And the first thing that we're going to see is the tip of the day. And these are great little tips provided by IntelliJ on how to use IntelliJ and how to do stuff and, and just be more productive in the IDE. So this is something I definitely recommend checking out. You can turn these off, but I, I don't see a reason to because, again, there's some really great tips in here. So you can cycle through these. And if you ever close this and want to get back to it, you can just go to help and tip of the day and you can get back to these tips. So I'm going to close this, say I got it, and it should open up my project that we just created. Okay, now that our application has opened, uh, we're going to go over here to the left and click that little arrow down. So this is going to be our editor. This is our navigator where all of our files are. So here we have a source folder and this is where we want to store our source code. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually create a package. You don't have to, but it's good practice to get into now. We'll talk a little bit more about packages as we get into this course. But for now, I'm just going to call mine com dot the real man Vega and click OK. So now I have a package. Now I can create a new Groovy class and we'll just call this Hello World. 
So once that's done, you'll see that we now have our blank file. It's created a little comment for us. Uh, that comment header we can actually customize and do some pretty cool things with. Uh, but for now, I'll just leave it be. And now we can start to write code in here if we wanted to. Um, in this instance, I'm not going to actually create a class. So let's go ahead and just look at how we can delete that. So if we right click and we go to delete and we say OK. What I want to do is actually just create a new groovy script because all we need to do is really print out the words hello world. So all I'm going to do is get rid of this and go print line hello world. And I'm going to command save or control save on the PC and we should be good to go. So now that we have our script ready, our hello world script, I want to go ahead and run this. So there are a few ways that I could do this. I could right click on a file and say run. It also gives me the shortcut to run that. I could right click in the editor and do the same thing. Or I can go to the run menu and go to run. So I'm going to go ahead and run and we'll click hello. And this is going to bring up our output here and show us the results of our program. In this case, we're just printing out a line called hello world. And so it's just going to print that out to the council. And there's hello world. And one thing you may have noticed is another folder came in here. Um, this is the out folder. You see all the way down in here, there's a class file. So we looked at how to compile Groovy classes earlier. Well, as I said before, the IDE is not doing anything magical. It is compiling our classes for us and then running them. So there is the actual compiled class. And IntelliJ actually comes with a nice little Groovy uh, or a decompiler. Um, and so this is what the actual Java bytecode decompiled looks like. So this is, this is basically what that script wrote out. So that's pretty handy having that in here as well. So IntelliJ gives you so many more features like IntelliSense and code completion that a text editor or even the Groovy Council just can't give you. When we get into writing more complex programs, it's a great it's great to have the power of a full-blown IDE. Um, I think that's all we're gonna look at today, but I hope this gives you a nice brief introduction to IntelliJ. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.